So what we want to look at here is an undamped mass spring system, but now I'm going to apply a step function external force and a Dirac external force as well. And so before we begin, let's remember some things about the Dirac function. I use the term function loosely, right? Because this is um, like no other function we've ever seen. And it's because it's not a function. It's really the behavior that I want a certain set of sequence of integrals to have. But here are the rules. First, this function delta is zero whenever t is not specifically equal to c. All right? So that only means there's one point in time when this function is doing anything at all, and whatever it's doing at that point in time, the area under the curve of that function is 1. Because of that, what this function is able to do is select one value of f out of the continuum of values for all sorts of different t's. It selects the one value associated with time t equals c, which leads to a fairly nice Laplace transform. The Laplace transform of the delta function is just an exponential. And if you looked at the last video, we recognized that exponentials appearing in the Laplace side are telling me about um, things happening in the time domain, but they're waiting to happen, much like this Dirac function is waiting to do anything until t equals c. Looking at my ODE, what I now have is an undamped mass spring system, but what I really want to notice here is that the initial values for this system are zero. That means that at time zero, this function is not displaced and it is not moving. Then, at pi units in time, I'm going to come in with the Dirac function. That's going to pulse it. Everything that the Dirac function is doing is doing in an instantaneous moment of time. And what you can find out is that it has to do with the energy. So it pulses a finite amount of energy into the system in an instantaneous moment in time. And it does that at pi seconds. What that's going to do is that's going to commit a motion to the system. Then in three pi seconds, this step function is going to show up to the scene. And let's remember a step function, it, without multiplying any other functions, this step function is zero up until 3 pi seconds, and then at 3 pi seconds it turns on, and um, it applies one newton, let's say, of force in the downward direction. So what are our expectations? The mass will not move until pi seconds. After that pulse of energy hits it, it will start a sinusoidal motion. At t equal 3 pi seconds, a constant unit of force is applied. And so what that's going to do is um, picture taking a stick, applying it to the mass, and then just pushing the mass down at a constant force, regardless of what the mass is doing, whether it's coming up or going down. You're just always going to be oppressing it with this constant unit of force. And so what that's going to do is it's going to cause the oscillations to take place about a new equilibrium point. Okay.